step two of my six steps formula is insights. I always like to discuss with people and present to people the detrimental effects of excessive phone use, excessive social media use. There is still a lot of research that needs to be done in order to find out what the long-term effects are going to be, but we already have kind of an idea what kind of effects that we can expect. And we also see in people who use their phones way too much. For example, it is possible that your brain is going to be affected. I already mentioned in a previous video that if you outsource everything to your, to your phone instead of using your brain, that your brain is not going to grow when it comes to calculating, remembering, for example. So we like to have our phones with us and if we need a solution or an answer to a question, we can immediately ask someone or Google knows. That's called the Google effect or digital amnesia, that you let your phone do the work and it's easy to get the answer so fast, but you're not training your brain anymore. Also, when you are being distracted all the time, then you train your brain to become good at being distracted. So it becomes harder to focus on one particular task because your brain now is used to be all over the place. Your brain does what it thinks you want it to do. It doesn't know what's good. Your brain doesn't know what's bad. It just sees, okay, that person is doing that on a repetitive basis all the time. So let me get good at it. Neurons who fire together, wire together. So if you train your brain to distract yourself all the time, then your brain is going to tell itself, okay, let's get good at being distracted. So that's why you don't want to get distracted all the time because of your phone, you will notice a difference when you actually want to focus for a specific period of time. So there are many effects that can, negative effects on your brain when you use too much screens. For example, melatonin, that's a neurotransmitter that's going to be suppressed when you use your phone before going to sleep, for example, because that's the moment that melatonin wants to be produced. It wants to create melatonin in your brain because you're going to sleep and you will need that neurotransmitter. But your phone is going to suppress that neurotransmitter because of the blue light that the screen emits. So that's another signal then that you give to the brain that says, you know what, I'm not going to sleep. So you don't know that, but that's what the brain sees when you use your phone too much. The melatonin is suppressed because of the light. It thinks it's still daytime and it's not going to make it that easy for you to fall asleep. And there are many other detrimental effects, but you just want to become aware of those effects. And that's why step two of my six step formula is insights to become aware of what social media and phones can do to you when you use them too much.